Okay, so you could say I've been dealing with a lot of crap today. Oh, really? Bobby's going to get you. So Tucker is being naughty again. Knock it off, Tucker. Bobby's going to get you. I promise you he will. Just leave me alone. See how red he is? His demeanor, he's all... His feathers are all closed up. He's when he wants to get me. But Bobby's gonna get him. Get back. Get back. He is psychotic. Get back. So, he, he doesn't know what to do because Bobby, look, Bobby is protecting me somewhat. Look, he really doesn't, he's coming at me. Why? Why? You're not hungry. You're not thirsty. Just stop. I don't have red on that. Get him, Bobby. Look at him. You got a death wish is what you got. Yeah, you do. You got a death wish. Get him, Bobby. Okay, if I can keep him away from me long enough not to turn my back, he's coming back at me. Why? Go, go, get, get. What I'm trying to tell you guys is I'm going to get, try to attempt to get all this cleaned up. I need to get inside to clean the chicken coop. All this is in the way, so I want to get all this cleaned up real quick. Leave me alone. I need to get my, I'm going to get my bobcat unloaded. I'm going to put all this debris, look at him. I'm going to put all this debris in the bucket. Quit. Yes, I just kicked out a turkey that was trying to attack me. Stop. You guard dogs. Look at he's getting me. Gabby, Gracie, get him. Get him. Get him. Get him, Gracie. Get him. Get him, Gracie. Bobby will get him. To them, we've instilled in them that these are not the enemy, so they don't protect me. But if a coyote comes up or a stray dog, it's a different story. Someone had told me that my guard dogs were useless because they weren't protecting me against um, the crazy freaking psychopath, psychotic turkey. But Bobby's chasing around now. They're not worthless. They're good dogs. They're, real, they're the best dogs I've ever had. But that turkey is the worst turkey I've ever had. He, I think he kind of wants to go back in there. But I kind of don't want him in there. Are you just wanting back in there? Let's see if we'll go back in there. I don't want to let all the ladies out. Go back in there then, Bobby. You want in there? Get in there and leave me alone. Now we'll have to wait and see if he can fit in that door. Then we got her. She's the sweetest little turkey ever. How you doing, little lady? How you doing? Anyways, I need to clean this coop out. Look at this. That is a week worth of poo-poo. There's a couple eggs on the ground I need to get out. Let's go see what let's go see what kind of eggs they have laid over here. Now I got I got this crazy turkey under control. He just went back in there. Let's see here. Now I did go in there earlier and pick some up, put them in here, and we had not closed this nest. So we traveled for like three or four days. You guys haven't seen it. Brandy's gonna post a video on it. We went to a church conference in Alabama, Muscle Shoals, Alabama. We go about I don't know every couple of years, um, but the nest box. I don't have my automatic opener on it yet, so we left it open, and they pooped in here. They pooped in here, and he cleaned it out. But what's cool about this, I can get the water hose and just squirt all this out because it um, just goes down to the ground right here and over there. But we do got some clean eggs. So the dirty ones are the ones I picked up and just rolled back here so I don't have to collect. But right now, we're getting an average of like 12 to 15 eggs a day, and we have an abundance of eggs. So maybe in this video, if not, it'll be another one. I'm gonna get the freeze dryer and we're gonna start freeze drying some eggs and we're gonna be doing a little water glassing. Um, I was gonna have Brandy show that on her channel, but I wanna do it on ours because then we can show a comparison of the water glassing method compared to the uh, freeze drying method and all that. So stay tuned for that, it's gonna be coming up soon. Maybe in this video, probably not, probably the next one. But we're getting a lot of eggs. So these dirty eggs like this, we will clean off 
and we'll use those to freeze dry and i'll show you the process of all that later and then the clean ones like this little beauty would be an excellent candidate for water glassing it would It'd be perfect this one too that's a good one too good egg right there but we'll collect these eggs here in a little bit Thank goodness he wanted to go back in there with all the other chick with all the chickens. So I'm gonna unload the bobcat. I'm gonna get this little mess cleaned up, show you guys that, and we'll see what else we can get into today. Uh, yeah, I'm just glad he's not attacking me now. So if you guys have not noticed, um, I don't know if I even talked about. It. I know you've seen it in some videos, but I got myself a new trailer. We I was borrowing my friend's trailer, and it was just such an inconvenience because he lives so far away, and um, then he needs it. So we were finally able to buy us one towards the end of the year last year. Um, for the homestead for the property and it is so much better having your own trailer to haul your own equipment around than have to borrow friends I'm not against borrowing friends but I rather have my own way more convenient and if anything ever happened to it it's mine I, I could uh, fix it when I can not have to worry about all that you guys know how it is really don't like borrowing stuff so I'm glad we got the new trailer so the new trailer is working awesome What I'm going to do first is get all the big stuff I can still use, put it on the forks and I can move that out of the way. All this little stuff, um, some of it I'm going to keep as kindling, other stuff we'll just go ahead and burn and get rid of. Look, now you're going to come over here and see what's going on, huh? Where you find a uh, mouse? You all find a little mouse? Yeah, the trash. Burn pile. Most of it's gonna get burnt, but some of this stuff. I'll save back a little bit of these two by fours.
I got a uh, wood pile. I'm just going to dump this into because we're going to be burning sometime in the future some burn piles. I like to get one big one. I got a bunch of little ones everywhere, but we're going to go find one to put this in and then go from there. Come back and clean it, finish cleaning it up. Okay, there's a couple of you in here. So, the majority of the poo is right down there. I see two eggs I need to get. And then uh, I'm just going to try to scrape it all to the door and then shovel it out here. See how this goes. Hello, ladies. Don't mind me. It's doing a little clean out. Trying to save these eggs. Got the windows open, a little ventilation in here. How y'all doing in here? Huh? You look like you own the place. I'm gonna spread it out, then I'll let them. <laughs> They're getting mad at me. I'll let them do the rest. They can scratch it. Be nice if we can get away with one. problems i'm gonna have to figure something out tomorrow i'm gonna put something up here so they can't get up here and poop so somehow they're getting up here barely enough room for anything other than sitting there and pooping but i was afraid of that me and Brandy didn't know for sure but yeah that should be clean should be no poop back there they're pooping on there yeah it wasn't too bad at all and one is enough i'm gonna clean up water fill that feet up I think we're gonna be good to go in here. All right, yeah, we're good. There's a whole bucket of poo. I have started a new compost pile over here for all the chicken poop and horse manure. And uh, that's what we're gonna put just right over here. We may end up moving it later closer to the garden we're gonna move our whole garden around this year and do things different uh, but right now i want to start this compost pile over here close to everything today i'm back out here i'm going to be cleaning out the horse um, pen that i talked about earlier in the video and i think what i'm going to do is try to pile it all up in there scrape it up and then just dump it on the other side of the fence and then clean it up out here because i don't know how these horses are going to react with the bobcat in there i might end up letting them out into this bigger pen area 
But yeah, I think I might do that. Um, they're inside their little thing. And uh, get this little hot wire taken down. So this is going to work out well. I hope. They were in there taking a little nap, I think. Today is actually a really nice day. It's like 73 right now. And it is nice. Well, I don't know if it's on or not. Take this off here. Okay, what I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is put this electric fence back up because Eddie started running around like a little fool. <laughs> I don't know if he's just playing or if I got him all worked up. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this wire back up. And um, if they want to come out, they can. And if they escape, then you guys will have a fun video to watch. But I think they'll be fine. Horses, these these seem, these mini horses have been really easy to train as far as they've never gotten out of this. They kind of know their boundaries. And they stay and they stay within their boundaries. We'll walk over here. It looks like it's a little low over here though. So let me walk over here and check it out. What you doing, Gunner? What you doing, buddy? Get you such a good little guard dog. Pearl wants something to eat. They're gonna naturally want to come out here. Look, he's already wanting to come out here. All right, go ahead, buddy, if you want. You can go out there. Go for it. You want to go out there? Have fun, guys. So, Eddie's going for a little trot. Yeah, there you go, Eddie. Get it, Eddie. Yeah. Okay, so let's get to cleaning up while they're out there having a little fun. We may, I may, may have to leave them out there until um, dinner time tonight. They get some grain. But I'm gonna get all this scraped up and uh, kind of go from there.
but the water's back up. I'm gonna dump these out over there. hit this one so you guys may hear gunner and the pig so i'm putting the camera up right here uh-huh Let me clean yours out next. Yours got to dry out a little bit more. But there's dry out for a few more days of this weather. I'll be able to get in there, no problem. We've got a lot of bunch of old um, hay and uh, alfalfa and poo and sticks in here. That's gonna make a good start of the compost pile over there. I'm gonna finish scraping all this up. 
and get it all. I'm gonna go all the way around the pen. Wherever I see poo, I'm gonna try to get it. He'll stay in there. He's the wild one as far as. Yeah, he's like, I like my new clean pen. Chief's usually the easy one to crowd. Eddie's the one that usually gives us a little bit of trouble. Don't run. Well, if I'd have had the gate open, Eddie would have came out, Chief would have went in. So kind of like a catch-22 type of deal. Let's see what we can do here. Eddie, get back. Chief, Chief, come here, Chief. Chief. Come here, Chief, come on, Chief. Come here, Chief. Get back, Eddie. Get back. Get back, boy. Chief. I may just wait until Brandy gets here. And the two of us can, one will watch the gate and the other one will crowd him in there. Cause I don't, Eddie's on, on edge right now. That machine and everything. So we'll leave Chief out here. Brandy should be home any time. We'll see how it goes. Okay, so you could say I've been dealing with a lot of crap today, literally, a lot of it, <laughs> and yesterday, uh, so yeah, but it's done, and that's literally with the Bobcat, it took like, what, 15 minutes to clean this out, and um, this is probably going to be in every, I don't know how much, to, maybe every two weeks or something like that, now that we got the Bobcat up and running and going again, it's going to make our life a lot easier here. And um, I'll keep an eye on the chicken coop because I don't know how often I have to clean it now that they're going outside. And I'm going to, let's go ahead and do that real quick. Let's go ahead. I'm going to let them free range for the last couple hours of daylight. And I'm just going to test it. I'm going to test to see if they go back in to the coop like I'm hoping they will. But let's let them out. Then I'm going to clean out the, um, the water on for the horse. But let's, uh, let's let them out. So it's been a good solid week. I need to fill your all's waters up um, since they haven't got the free range. So here's the test. You leave me alone. What I'm gonna do to make sure the wind doesn't blow this, let's go ahead and just shimmy it up. And we'll let them come out for a little bit and do their thing. Bobby, just leave me alone. I'm hoping they'll all come back in here. You can see that's all looking good. We've got a little bit of mess here. We've got to finish cleaning up. Overall, the homestead's starting to take shape. They're like, well, we don't know what to do with our freedom. We don't want to go out there. So I got a big pile of manure, but a lot of it is the, the hay and alfalfa too. That's going to make a good compost. Good start of a compost. This one is actually got a break in it somewhere right here. Look at that, got a tear in it. I think the hogs did this. They pushed down on it like that to get in there and get a drink. But we can still use it. We can only fill up to right there. 
I may just go ahead and put it in their pants. We'll have two of them. Does it break it anyways? What? Watch out. Watch out. It ain't food. You guys just think I'm good for food. That's all you guys think about, huh? Gunner, tell them. So the mud's drying up. They're loving their platform. Whoa. Okay, I'm going to finish up doing the waters and feed and all that. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video of just doing some chores around the homestead. If you did, smash that like button. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Stay tuned for Brandy's video on Count It All Joy. I'm pretty sure she's going to be the trip and maybe the countertops um, that we got. So stay tuned for that. Love you guys. Catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching.